Good evening, this is to Nerdist to Human, and welcome back to our Rebel Prologue campaign of Medieval 2 Total War. And you join us at Carnarvon, where last time, well, we somehow managed to survive another onslaught on the castle. Uh, but with that, we're in a much better situation now. We're ready to counterattack against either the Normans or the Saxons. It just comes down to whether yeah, we want a nice big battle in the field or a big chunky battle over at the castle of Nottingham. Now, at the moment, it is just a castle. Not sure how close to a fortress. That is something we'll probably find out soon enough. But uh, yeah, we are pretty much at the end of our turn as we begin the day with this army here and uh, what's in the castle. We need to kind of be brought together, really. We need to decide how we're going to use both uh, yeah, the Scottish and the Welsh forces along with this uh, little French force of, well, the French force of longbowmen, which sounds a bit strange, but obviously this is an old Norman castle. So we get ourselves the longbowmen. Excellent stuff. So with them brought together, we have some of our Highlanders, some spear militia, some of the mailed knights. We should hopefully have a good enough army to go and take on the English and, of course, the Saxons. Now, can we are getting ourselves the barracks, so maybe some better troops come along with that. Oh, yes, and over here. In Italy, we have Florence under siege after a little rebel force popped up last time outside Rome and caused some of the papal forces a bit of bother. But for now, it's probably time to end our turn. I will, though, I think, just put this uh, this guy on the boat because I'm pretty certain he can't assassinate me if I'm living on a boat. Well, a little bit surprised, and I wasn't expecting the Pope to actually come and deal with this at Florence, but, um, okay, he seems to want to do this, and... Yeah, this is not a good idea right now. Let's just... We've, oh. The reinforcements just die. That's excellent, isn't it? Brilliant. So we lost our cavalry. Um, probably... St well, still for the best. Not great, really, is it? No. Okay. Uh, you head back towards Genoa. Because we've just lost out our forces. Um, get peasants and cavalry there, get some cavalry here. We need to restock this army and head over to his popiness. Uh, fail to reinforce Milan, we don't need to, sir. We have other problems to deal with first. Okay, Genoa's castle is complete, that's excellent because we just got building out of it. And yeah, we can get the peasants out of the mustering hall that we just built there as well. Over in Carnarvon, we have ourselves some new troops, which is nice. It's a bit of retraining after the battle, really. And at this stage, okay, we are going to bring our forces together over here. Have a nice beach holiday over in Dorset. And, okay, what is our army looking like? We've got these three Highlanders and the Galadrach. They can head straight on there. Do we want to take both of these generals, by the way? I don't think we do. Um, I think we're going to... You know what, we've got the Longbowmen, we'll send Ambrose along. Okay, Edward's already done a bit of work. Ambrose needs a little bit more fun. So, you can head back to Carnarvon and defend that territory as it is your territory, sir. We'll take three of those spears along as well. That's pretty darn solid. We'll take the Longbows. Now we have ourselves another three Longbows to join that force. So, what are we then left with? We have three mailed knights there... We have... Oh, okay, yeah, we do have one more longbow, man. I'll leave one longbow there. Mailed Knight, Mailed... Oh, you know what? Mailed Knight, Hobbilar. And then one more Hobbilar. Okay, Light Cab to finish it off. And then three more there. Okay, I can I can give another two units, but what would they be? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe just a couple... A couple peasants wouldn't be the worst idea. I mean, these archers well, it might be helpful. You know what? They've got some... They've got some shield. We'll send them over in this direction. So, over here they go. You join up with him. To reorganise the uh, orders a little bit later. But there we are. There's our lovely full stack. And I think, since we're here, since we just landed in Bristol, we're going to go and head east along the M4 and go smash up Lord Rufus. Which will be absolutely magnificent. So, I think that's our plan. That could be an interesting battle out in the field. Lots and lots of male knights on their side as well. We could very easily lose that, but I'll be intrigued to see how it goes. Now, that leaves Carnarvon looking kind of interestingly, to be honest. Let's just try and get a hand on what we've got here. So, big pile of peasants. Check. Uh, some slightly battered trash units, which, to be honest, are actually quite useful for Medieval 2. Obviously, just being able to activate a tower 
can be very, very effective indeed. It's less useful when you've already got lots of units, but it can be uh, can be nice to have. So uh, these guys, yeah, four of those peasant archers, and then we've got some longbowmen and some cab. Okay, not too shabby. Get ourselves a hobbler just to make sure we can escape. That's fine by me. And okay, more and more units are being readied up in the north. So Inverness does need to just continue to send some reinforcements down to York in case it gets attacked. At the moment we feel safe enough, but we shall see about that. Yes, so 50% heretic now. Oh, this is this is nice. Very, very heretic down here in the south of England, which is marvellous. York, we'll have to see about that. Come on. Uh, we'll get some more longbowmen very, very soon indeed. Is there anything else we can do? Yeah, we've just got the barracks building, so not really for the time being. And the retraining, not really worth it on those 11 men. Right, as for the Pope, we are withdrawing for the time being. But, yeah, we maybe just need to have enough to hold these. Maybe we, maybe we wait until we get some of these armies, because it can be quite fun to send a nice mixed army to face down on the Pope. But we'll see. If he pushes it, then uh, we'll go for him. So let's end our turn and see what happens. And the Pope immediately pounces towards Genoa, and we are one step outside. So... Yeah, um, that's really annoying because now the units in the town can't flee, otherwise it counts as death. Well, they need to flee into the castle, don't they? So get it... Why would it do that? <laughs> the game has some really stupid ideas sometimes. Okay, 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 okay. I, I at least expected they would actually flee into the actual castle, but no. The Pope is now standing out there. Fine. Um, does that mean we have the opportunity here? Potentially, we can go count in Florence. We've got two units there. I don't know. They're actually, they've got a fleet. Interesting. Um, maybe it depends how many spawns I've had with the boats, if any are nearby. If there aren't any nearby, then I'll leave it. But I will try and hunt them down if the opportunity comes. Now, I saw the English go into the forest around here somewhere. You might just be across the border. It's not the end of the world. Okay, we should be quite careful because they are around here somewhere. Come on, there we go. I wasn't taken by surprise, though, was I? <laughs> I knew he was there. That's why I went one step at a time. Uh, okay, fine. This could be good fun anyway. Um, it's not the ideal way of facing on this massive, massive army, but you know what? We should keep it good fun. Lacks caution. I mean, yeah, I mean, so says this guy who just walked straight into your bloody ambush. But there we are. Right, I'm fisted but lazy, which means he probably can't get off the sofa. Let's go and smash Lord Rufus. But um, unusual to have a proper ambush battle here. Very bizarre. I feel like I did walk through that square a minute ago, but it doesn't really matter. Let's head on in. I can't remember the last time I was actually ambushed successfully on this game, so I just thought I'd wait and see if they actually did leave the speech in. But no, no speech, which is amusing. Uh, obviously makes total sense. Now, they have... Ew, they have not surrounded us at all, which is potentially not the most sensible thing in the world. They've just got themselves positioned like they normally would. Okay, so where are all our longbowmen right at the back? No, they're not. The longbowmen are over this way. Oh, okay. So they are all in that position. <laughs> right, infantry all at the far side, apart from these guys. So that's not too bad. We got no stakes. Really could have done with the stakes for this battle, to be honest with you. And um, that would have helped a lot with those mailed knights but that's absolutely fine there is or is there one unit of archer back here okay there's one archer there but the rest uh, i think to be honest these guys just need to run <laughs> run over here just get yourselves into some kind of position and the cavalry are going to cover you by just charging like maniacs okay cav this is your job. Your job is to cover the other guys while we figure out what the hell is going on. By the way, we do have a, I think it's a minus three penalty to our morale for this. So not great, but there we go. Okay, and yeah, before you unpause properly, Thomas, let me get the general around here. 
Fine, 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 fine. Everyone run, by the way, because panic. So this is good fun. This is awfully good fun. It's great that they knew this ambush was coming, and then immediately, like, this is what happens. Get your lances down! Okay, they just charge straight into spears, which is not ideal. Um, <laughs> these guys have got themselves a little bit in a bad spot as well because they pulled out of it. Right, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. So long as we can cover our men. No, I asked you to get back. Thank you very much. You, 29 versus 29. That wasn't particularly good, was it? But it was something. Okay, so I was supposed to be paying enough attention whereby that wouldn't happen, but apparently we're going to have to face this charge. Mill Knights are going to absolutely demolish these guys. Okay, 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 okay. You guys just stand there. That's fine. Longbows need to like all go off skirmish mode, by the way. It'd be really helpful if you weren't running away like utter, utter fools. Um, at this point, these units are in big trouble to be honest. So we're just going to have to get into them as much as we possibly can. Okay, they're routing, so that's not particularly helpful. You get yourself around here for talk. Well, actually, that's not particularly possible. Possible? Possible! Lovely! Okay, um, General, you get on him. Longbow... <laughs> this is the, the, the worst way possible to do this battle. Uh, la 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 la. I would say all missiles and the general just get on top of their general and we pray because we're going to get absolutely annihilated here today. Lance is just about down but not particularly effectively. Uh, you guys chunk. You guys chunk. Missiles. Oh, they are getting shots in. What are you doing, sir? You could be helpful right now. So, 15. That's fine. It's not that fine because they're getting through. Get here quicker, sir. Get her a lot quicker than that. Um, I jump under 13, under 17. Uh, General is now, I think, coming to deal with those guys. They're charging into him. <laughs> right, nice hit on the General, to be fair. You just want to pin him in position. My General probably shouldn't be doing that. We should probably be getting on... Oh, not on top of that other General. Oh, dear. Everything's, everything's melted, really, hasn't it? Yes. Um... You guys pin them in place just long enough for... Can we just take up both their generals? If that if that's all we do here today, I will accept it. Okay? <laughs> We're going to have a heroic loss here just to keep the series going a little bit longer. Damn it, I want more entertainment. So, Ambrose, keep on running through. Keep on running through. Uh, those archers just need to get all of their shots in at this general as much as possible. Um, the other one has charged in, so actually you guys need to be facing him. Oh, and they're just pathetic lads. Um, Ambrose, get on to Rufus. Get on to Rufus. Rufus isn't... Uh, yeah, Rufus actually has his own character because obviously he's a Norman. For some reason, the Normans actually get their own men, whereas, uh, yeah, as we saw, Saxons are all called King Howard. Down goes Rufus. Oh, excellent. Many egg salads were eaten this day. Can we withdraw, sir? Probably should have done that at the start if we were able to. Uh, we're not allowed to withdraw with the rebels, Thomas. We just die, don't we? Yeah, we just die. Okay, um, this flank, which I've been completely ignoring, has actually managed to largely hold. So let's just see if we can get our general to escape up there. That would be nice. Um, I think my, my longbowman, my precious longbowman, have you just arrived? No... Um, okay, where is that of a general? Where is that of a general? Because we can still kill him. Mailed knights. General's bodyguard. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. And yeah, with that. And with that, we can come on around here. They're still hunting us down, which is quite funny. Um, holly bars over there. Oh, they won. That's, again, kind of surprising. You should be just shooting him because that was kind of your job anyway. General's just going to run towards these guys. You need to intercept him. Be quicker than that, sir. There we go. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yay, we routed him. That's excellent. Okay, General's continuing to push through them. That's fine. What, how are these guys doing, by the way? They should be shooting that General, or are they just facing the General in hand-to-hand? -hand? That's broken and broken. 
it's broken. It's doing a surprisingly good job of breaking them all, aren't they? Uh, that's the general over there. I'll be honest, sir. If you somehow have a way to get back to your men, that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. What's even around to kill? Let's just shoot them. It looks like they've managed to break them. This is actually really close. I thought we were completely done in this battle, but no, we're actually... That break of the general might just turn this around. Okay. Uh, one of you get into them, but this is yeah, not done yet, surprisingly. Okay, charge... Actually, do you want to charge into town militia? We don't, but we'll send our holobars to do it, go and do that. That's absolutely fine. They've also broken them. Town militia, their holobars have broken them. Okay. Um, okay, what's left? There's a few of these guys still dealing with my archers. <laughs> There's the general's bodyguard. Um, okay. They're dealing with him. So what's left over here? All infantry. Yeah, just, just, just everything that's here. Just, just deal with these guys, please. I'm not the general. The general's being pretty darn heroic. He's close enough. Don't worry about the armored sergeants. Just I tell you what, just get to that other general. Get all the way over there, because eventually we need him down. And by and large, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna deal with them. So <laughs> come on, come on. Melt knights, that's the general. All units. Oh, they, they, oh the spin militia caught up with me. Okay. Let's just. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You guys deal with the general. Not you. You come and deal with this guy because you're not actually going to get into it, but we'll just need you to get close enough. So, general's going to swing around. Um, long bows are dealing with them. Oh, we just caught them with, 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 uh, with our uh, spears there. That's good. You, you're just here to cause a rout, remember? Just here for the routes. Oh yeah, there we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> general keep running through. It's just the general now. Is it? Is it just him? I think he's going as well. Uh, Archer militia over there. Who have rounded whatever's left. Okay. All right, we need, oh, what are we gonna do? Um, 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 um. You, chase off that general, make sure he doesn't die. All my missiles, all ten of you, or whatever, you go and deal with them. All infantry, leave twenty here, just in case we need to intercept that general, but the others all need to go and take on those archer militia. That is all that stands between us and victory. What are the stats? 75 to 73. That is catastrophic for all sides. I love it. Okay, General is probably about to be hunted down by those mailed knights, which is why we're leaving these 22 over here, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You, shoot him. General's over there. Infantry's going to get into their archers. That's fine. And that means now we charge them down. Is that another enemy general? That's enemy general. Augustine Watkins is down as well. Oh, yeah, we got them both. <laughs> we got them. That is catastrophic and just wonderful all around. They're all dead what is even going on yeah the longbowmen are just dealing with their mailed knights it's kind of hilarious um it's kind of i guess fairly true to some extent uh one of you needs to turn around deal with this guy who's still for some reason fighting i think he's been shot in the back by the longbows the general is coming into the archer let's be really careful here ambrose don't really want you to die i don't know how you survived this long but he has routed him as well oh we've almost got it we've almost got it it's unwise. Oh, it's so wise, sir. It's absolutely magnificent. I think it was actually these guys who chased them down. Well done, sir. 78 to 77, but this is only... I think it's all that's left really, is that? Maybe some things are regrouping. Uh, you know what? Everything who's not cavalry... Yeah, everything that's not cavalry... Just get back over to the centre, I guess. Yeah, I think so. They're shaking, they're wavering, and there we go. <laughs> how? How? How now have we done this? And that is, what a glorious hero. Can I just see how blood, oh, he's really blooded. He, he's so, so badly blooded. He, he maybe didn't have anything left to give here, but victory and glory for us all. Shoot him down, lads, shoot him down. We might have lost most of these guys. We can send you back to Normandy. 
We can get you retrained, guys. Excellent work. Let's just follow the arrows if we can. I think I'm a second too late. I am indeed. Oh, well. Well, what is even left in this battlefield? I mean, it's a bloody massacre is what it is. Tried to get us to join together, but yeah. They had the same amount of male knights as us. Uh, I guess the covering did work. I mean, the infantry up here managed to win their battle by themselves, which was, you know, obviously kind of expected because it was the majority of our infantry. They were the more chunky guys. We had the, uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the Highlanders are long dead. Uh, he's he's up to he's up to eight experience now. Well done, sir. Right, I'm gonna speed this up and uh, well, we'll see what's left. But there can't be much. It's what seventy nine percent of mine to eighty four percent of this. <laughs> it's a clear victory. Three men in it. We lost three less than them in the end. But uh, what's remaining? Three hundred to their one hundred. We do not have enough to go and take London, but. What a stinging blow. Um, does, if you want to see the stats, by the way, yeah, we probably should have a good look at that. Some of the Hobbilars gained some experience at the end there. No one. No one really inflicting a huge amount here, but solid numbers. Solid numbers, I suspect. Yeah, the Longbows didn't actually do that much because they never really had the opportunity. They were kind of fighting hand to hand quite a lot. But overall, job six experience gained. What more could you love about this? Having survived that ambush, I think it might be a good idea to head straight down to the coast, actually. So, yeah, get the boats over here. We we want him back to safety, please. Oh, my. Yeah, four longbowmen uh, shredded there. We need we need all sorts of troops. We really need some proper, proper infantry, really. So... I'm hoping that we do get something out of that barracks. It, we probably should, but you never know. You never know. Okay. Um, Edinburgh, you can get yourselves a couple spearmen, so that might be useful to send those down to Inverness as well. And yeah, you have got some new troops for York. That would be nice. Get yourselves... Yeah, a couple cav. Couple of, one of each cav would be very nice indeed. Okay. So, Bruges, 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 Bruges. We never did build you up, but in the end, we were too quick at uh, burning them down for, yeah, for there to be any real need, really, to, yeah, prevent the attack. We just killed Scotland instantaneously, didn't we? So, um, these guys are doing some good hereticking. That's great to see. And, yeah, we'll just get you retrained over here. Can't retrain all of them, but we can retrain some. Now... Highlanders, okay, that's fine. Uh, those sixty can, those sixty can just uh, head head back up north. That'll be fine. Uh, or, or they can stick with us. Sorry, the three can go and get retrained somewhere. That's not a problem for me. Everything else should be able to get retrained back here. So, although yeah, there's Hobbilars as well. We're gonna need more of those. So maybe Carnarvon. Yeah, get us some light cav, please. Just get us some chaff, and that'll be absolutely grand. Over in Khan, actually, yeah, we do. I don't know, we do get those here. Scrap it. I forget that you're both Norman. It's just Khan doesn't actually have itself. Uh, Khan has the longbows and you don't. Okay, all is absolutely fine, except for, you know, all of the Pope nonsense causing us problems. We'll have to see how this one goes. We'll get ourselves, not the stables, the mustering hall. At the very least, we can get ourselves, uh, yeah, just a bit of peasantry to help out. But it's a castle. He's not taking it out with a castle, probably. These guys are battered, Thomas. Do bear yeah. that in mind. Probably would have been better to keep them separate, as you just said about the towers, but it's fine. It's fine. Interesting. The Papal States are going to besiege Bologna with a uh, pretty weak force, so we should be able to repel them without too many problems. Aha, and the Pope is also going to attack Genoa, so the Pope is on a charge now, but we'll just have to go kill the Pope, I suppose. Nothing else too interesting then in that in turn. We've got ourselves another heretic. You can just wander your way off in this direction. No crusade launched by the Pope. I don't know if he can have a crusade on this or not. I don't know, actually. That's an interesting one. we have to find that out sometime. Okay, these guys keep wandering around up to 58%. That's lots of trouble for them. Okay, this army is so battered. So these three can head on back. The rest of us are, yes, just going to head over the seas. 
and they'll be marvellous. You can just head back into Karn next time. So that's fine. So we're just going to be slightly delayed on the old attack on London. We've got a bit of defending to do again, as is ever the case on the Rebel campaigns. It's always more defending than you might well think. Uh, what do we just build there, by the way? Inverness Drill Square. I don't see any difference whatsoever, so that was a waste of my money. Scotland really don't help me whatsoever, do they? Okay, do we at least get experience on them? No. No experience on the lads. Just brilliant. So yeah, don't waste your time with the Scots. They don't give you any useful units. But we do get some Elf Knights, so we'll send them down towards York. And that'll be okay. Okay, well they haven't attacked York anyway. I think maybe they're still, yeah, <laughs> still suffering from the earlier uh, earlier failed attempts to take Carnarvon. So we do have ourselves more and more units in this part of the world though. Um, specifically in Bologna, yeah. Two peasants and three mailed knights um sir two mailed knights and a family member so they can't they can't do anything with that so they can just try and siege us out what's the pope doing he's trying to build something that's intriguing so basically he has two mailed knights and general i three mailed knights and two peasants i'm not sure any fancy the throwing the peasants into that fight we'll just we'll just wait that one for a little while so I'm quite happy playing defensive this part of the world. We'll see if Alexander the Pope wants to head on in. Now, oh yes, that is good news. The barracks does get me our oh, mid-swordsman for once. The rebels are getting themselves a thoroughly, thoroughly good unit. Okay, I can very much settle for that. And we will finally retrain the unit because it's annoying me. So let's go and retrain them. Uh, good Narvan... Now you can get the same actually. So you might just get working towards that now we have a bit of money to do so. Inverness, uh, I don't know that it's worth bothering quite frankly. We're going to send these guys to come join so you can just join that force. Head down with the cavalry. Or annoy the cavalry lads but it's fine. They can be pissy if they want. So there's not much point of building a lot of this stuff because economically we'll get enough. It's just... just takes a little time for the money to tick in we'll lose troops pretty darn quickly i think it's gonna be quite turn actually because we're just moving our troops around trying to reorganize but carnarvon hmm i gotta figure out how we're going to deal with nottingham i think we, well, we'll go for london first so we'll, we'll take out this army we'll take this army to london and whilst we get that under control we'll yeah restock our army for the castle attack at nottingham because this one could be very very painful indeed in comes the Pope, and this could be interesting. He has himself two Italian spear militia, two Italian militia. It's the difference between those are just the defense is way higher on the spear militia. Interesting. Uh, Pavis crossbowmen, uh, obviously quite a good unit, mailed knights, and the Pope himself. Weirdly, he doesn't have ornamental armor. Normally does, but I guess since it's just the prologue, they didn't set him up that way. Interesting. Uh, normally that's an automatic thing when they become Pope, but obviously he was uh, just created at the start of the game, so that trigger never took place. He's a perfect politician, skilled bureaucrat, severely austere. Promising commander, he's not bad actually for this kind of thing. Gregarious, oh, plus one morale. Strong language is plus two morale. Yeah, this guy, and he's also healthy. Dom, blast, this is a... There we are, Alexander, he's going to win this battle here today. That's quite terrifying. Let's head on in. I say the Pope will definitely win this, but of course, this is a castle, and this is the AI who have bought what? They bought one ram and the ladder. So let's immediately run out of the gates then and just intercept some of these guys, make sure they're getting shot down. The crossbowmen had themselves a decent shot there from the centre, and we have ourselves, yeah, infantry on the walls and one down there on the ground. So let's just get ourselves into position. We can charge, I don't really know how well they're going to manage the charge here, but as long as we get in their way, that's all that matters. So there we are, that's a light tap at the beginning. That's fine, get yourself out of there, my good sir. We just need you to do as much of this work as you possibly can. So, ooh, a few shots coming in now. That's not ideal, but let's just intercept this ram. And, okay, get out of there. I feel like they're in trouble a little bit, actually. Bit, bit awkward. Okay. They're coming back. We did not interrupt them enough. Turn around. Oh, don't get these guys. Get these. Oh, uh, 
Panic! Panic! Panic less, people. Right, we, we, we do want to intercept the ladder, obviously. Just a tiny bit, but the most important thing is this ram. This ram has to go down, please, guys. It's going to be an awful lot worse if we don't deal with the ram. So keep running into this ram. General was shaken. Uh, try and get out of there. Oh, he's right. Enough what that might happen. Okay, so cavalry gone, unfortunately. Kind of what I expected, but are they going to go back for that ladder? Down he goes. No escape here today. But is that going to disrupt things for long enough for this to get some damage in? Maybe? Who knows? They look like they're ready to get the ladder. So, yeah, you go and shoot down those spear militia. You shoot those mailed knights in the back. Um, oh, I wish we could tell this tower to shoot down this ram, but I think they're just going to... Oh! They must have picked it up enough because it's getting the shots in. It's not raining. I'd really hope that we could burn this thing down, but... You know, the, the thing is, the slowing down just mucks up the AI movement and uh, changes their tactics. But it doesn't actually buy me any more time to burn it. Certainly, from what we saw last time at Carnarvon, even with the flaming arches, it doesn't seem to make a difference. Can you please burn it down? <laughs> just shoot at it. There we are. A couple. Uh, a few more coming in now. A bit better. But not great, really, is it? No. And without the cavalry, I can't really do too much about it. Um... Fine, Ram's going to make it, unfortunately. So you guys get yourselves here. And it is what it is. You guys just, just run forward, because we can... If we open up the gate, can we open up the gate before they get the Ram there? Will that screw it up? Yes, it will. Okay. We're actually going to run out for a moment. And... Oh. <laughs> We're now stuck both sides of the gate. Which, to be fair... Might not be the worst. I mean, these guys are now stuck here, obviously. But, like, just stay there. I mean, we can just get them shot by this tower for ages. I mean, that gate will not reopen now because they've deemed the enemies right next to the gate. So, how are they moving it? Stab the people. Oh, this is lovely. This is excellent. I mean, you might say the whole interrupting them. Oh, no, the gate. I actually don't want the gate open, guys. Guys. Can we grab the ram? No, we can't grab the ram. We should be able to grab the ram. We can stab it, but that doesn't actually destroy it. I feel like that was a mechanic that they does that they planned, but never actually went through with. Right, the gate's open. Then please just run through it and um, yeah, just get it shut again, please. They are. I think they're coming for the ram, not for the men at the gate. So hopefully the gate will shut. Right, this tower is not activated anymore because these guys are got off. Slightly irritating. Um, send these ten over there. That'll be fine. We're going to shut the gate. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, we just got the worst of both. <laughs> well, it was worth it for the fun, but uh, we got the worst of both worlds now. Actually, we just... That's kind of fine, actually. We actually don't really want to get any more. We just want them to be in a position where we can still shoot them. Okay. Fine, they're giving up on the ladder, are they? That, that's that's just the way this goes. It's now time for all the towers to do their work. Yay! Okay, so we've now got ourselves a massive infantry scrum here. If I'd, if I'd not bother it. I mean, to be fair, they're about to get through with that ram anyway. I had to try and do something. This was, this was, this was fun. Um, this disgrace, you say? I think we're doing perfectly fine, sir. I think we're doing perfectly perfectly fine lots of cavalry there get on the general get on the general sir now can you two guys do very much from that position not from there but if you get yourselves hmm i'll tell you what you guys stay where you are but you guys get yourselves about there first of all you will activate the other tower but you should also be able to get a really nice shot if you want to actually get on with it. It's quite urgent, guys. Quite urgent. <laughs> oh, dear. These guys are routing. That's unfortunate. Some of these guys. Uh, um, down to them. The general's barely taken a knock as it happens. So that's not ideal. These pavis. There we go. That'll do. Some of you are out of position. Some of you are in position. Don't seem to have activated that tower, which is a slight annoyance, but 
maybe these guys might regroup in time. Are we going to get some shots in? Shoot him. Yeah, there we go. So, some nice shots now coming in. That's not terrible. If you'd like to do a little bit more than that, that would be nice. Anyone? Anyone? We're not doing any damage on this general. Unfortunately, uh, this battle is going to go the way that I predicted at the start. Yeah, unfortunately... Unfortunately, even though the ram... I mean, the ram would have smashed open in a few minutes' time anyway. Obviously, without the gate shenanigans. But, uh, yeah. I don't know that we could have got much... I mean, we've had enough luck on these battles like this, to be fair. I don't know that we can ask for too much more of this nonsense to go our way. These guys are going to continue fighting, though. So, maybe we just go into guard at this point. We'll just see how much damage we can do. I mean... Can we get... Nah... So we've got this tower activated by those guys, but we've also, we've seen the weird spread, we've kind of got a lot of towers activated. I'm not sure we will get any luckier by moving these guys along, to be fair. So we'll just have to see if we can chunk them down. There's still a chance to keep that general goes, but these guys just need to keep holding. They're wavering. Can't blame them, to be fair. They were... <laughs> right, the Pavis can do a pretty good job. Where are these guys? They're back at the plaza yet? No. It's a long way round on this plaza. It's quite a fun... Yeah, these uh, southern European ones are quite fun and silly, but... We're not going to do it. I don't think we're going to take up this general, because he is not taking enough damage. The walls are no longer ours, and with that, really, there's nothing more to do. Uh, we've got three left on the plaza, but that's it. Oh, indeed, we are getting a few little arrows coming along as they uh, walk over towards the plaza. Come on, can we kill anyone? Can we kill anyone at all? What are we on right now? 37% of them. Wow, we haven't done anywhere near enough, have we? 24, come on. Come on. Hold here. I mean, we've killed one of them. And they'll just break. Oh, we could have done better just fighting on the plaza, damn it. Oh, well, one man remains. And... Uh, Vitalis, yep, yeah, suitable for the one chap who lived. And of course the Pope, who was completely unkillable, will take Genoa. Sad, we did try and shoot him down, I was aiming at him the whole time, but yeah, his healthy ass, unfortunately, has taken the settlement. Now I did get a few more boats, um, I was going to go send to take out the Pope, but hmm, his boat seemed to have wandered off at this stage, so I don't know. I'll keep my one scout boat, but the rest of them can just be turned into money. I do mostly have quite a lot of money. Oh, yeah. We were trying to reinforce that. That's a bit of a problem, actually. Okay. That whole reinforced Milan idea. That was a good plan. Let's convert. <laughs> that was a really good plan, actually. Uh, council. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Fine. Uh, back over in Cam, then. We have ourselves, yeah, a few more troops now. Okay, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Yes, it is. Not the worst thing. 32 is the full unit, so I can't mix them either. Okay, so military is now us at the top. Perfect. So I'm occupied. Genoa was occupied. That's at least a kind of them, but hmm. Okay, send them back to Inverness. Don't know if it will be achieving anything. Yeah, they are sending some men down to York, but at the very least now we've got a half stack here. So that is something. Something if, you know, not a lot. So yeah, we'll just... I think we will just keep on stock, stockpiling units in that town because we could do with anything, really. Get another of each different of uh, cavalry over there, and I think that'll be fine. Get the boat in that position just to make sure we are fine. You were in a decent position blocking the straits, but don't worry about that too much. Still my boats from the English. Need to keep a close eye on it. I, I think I'll notice if anything like that does appear, but I would have a heretic grab this guy. He's been wandering around for a while, actually, and irritating me, so I'll get control of him. Maybe we'll get another lucky spawn of units as a result of all of that. Maybe I'll run them all the way into the corner of Cornwall. Uh, that'll be helpful. Although, to be fair, they're quite useful auxil auxiliary spies. So there we are. Okay, looks like a turn of admin. Um, I don't know if they're going to bother reinforcing with some infantry and actually attacking, but I'm not sure it makes sense for me to launch out right now. Maybe I need to get Naples just built up to the next level as well, just to try and hold. That was a... Yeah, the Pope was a lot tougher than I expected. 
Perhaps unsurprisingly, York is now under siege from the Saxons. Not the end of the world, because it looks like we have a much bigger force than them. We might... Oh, they are... Spoke too soon. They're sending reinforcements, but the uh, Norman assassin doesn't know what to do. The Pope has sent some armies out, and... Oh, there was a diplomat on that boat. The army's coming to reinforce Bologna most likely, so we'll just have to do our best at Explorer's Guild. All right, there's no general there to gain from that, so no, but it's good to be... The guilds have accepted that I, you know, I have worthwhile things to offer, and that's nice. Okay, you know what? We've got another spawn of boats over here. I don't think I deleted the boats at the end of last turn, actually. Maybe the first time I have enough money to not be bothered by that fact. But Bologna, they, they've got some stuff, but looks like, yeah, they're going to send that army that we just faced to go and... Yeah, gun us down again, but there's only more cavs, so who knows, maybe we can do something. <laughs> Gives us slightly more options when it comes to disrupting them and getting the towers on. Uh, Carnarvon has a garrison quarter, so it can now get itself levy spearmen. We could just get that straight up to... Drill Squid doesn't get me anything, does it? Not until we get up to the, the barracks after that, no. Okay uh spear militia we can just get all these to join together maybe off they have some friends at long last that's absolutely fine um can just needs to continuously yeah retrain for a few turns that's just where we're at london unfortunately is going to retrain some units in the meantime but it's absolutely fine now york if they do want to come in we'll just let them come in i'm happy trying to defend that that was hmm so a lot of units. They must be pretty battered ones. Uh, Inverness is still training, so we will yeah, restock our forces. There's a reason that uh, yeah, we were continuously sending those forces around. So you, my good sir, get in there. At least when we're done with retraining, we'll have plenty of armoured swordsmen stock left. So financial report is probably not great. Probably not great at all. And there's a heretic right outside the Pope's land, which is perfect. I kind of find that amusing. Okay, we're somewhat out of money, but that's probably because I forgot to disband the boats last turn. So, as our boats head over to the Pope's in Marseille, I guess I'll... Hmm, you're probably just a little bit too far. Yeah, I'll check through my, my scroll every turn, by the way. <laughs> but I have to go through this ruddy nonsense. And it makes you scroll all the way down. This is UI things that people didn't think about originally, wasn't it? Okay, there actually aren't... I was going to say there aren't as many, but no, Thomas, that's because you didn't do it last turn. So there's actually quite a lot, yes. Oh no, the Pope's now attacking my heretics too! Boo! Oh no, they've got another one out in London. Why, the Pope's really on the offensive against me now. Don't let my people... Oh no! Oh... Well, one of them was found innocent, but no, not Abdelmiki. I mean, I'll be honest, sir, uh, if you don't want to be called a heretic in, like, what, 12th century England, maybe pick a slightly more, you know, Christian name, but even so, Abdelmiki. To be fair, I probably sent him a long way away. Oh. Oh. I haven't seen this clip in a long, long time. They did properly burn them alive in this clip, though. Oh. Poor Steve. I mean, Abdelmiki. Should have gone with Steve. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's gone full Stannis on us, the Pope has. Okay, so... Jubaldo has found innocent the trial. Ha, ha, ha. You useless lad. On that note, actually, I was going to go send this guy uh, across, so we'll just go give you another one to deal with. Yay! Naughty is over there. He's going to come and slaughter you. We'll go back to deal with the Pope. Let's see if you can actually win. Huh. Turns out they have much better boats than me. Well, at least we'll have some uh, less money to pay. Oh, we did sink one of them. That's good. Wasn't for nothing. And to be honest, those boats don't really... What? Oh. Well, that's a bit of an anticlimax, isn't it? <laughs> did anyone else... People probably noticed that immediately and I was too busy paying attention to the Inquisitor. Huh. I guess William the Conqueror died. Oh, we were like two turns from sending your own forces back to you. That's... Uh, I kind of want to reload now. Well, that... Right, well, Nottingham better be fun. Although we've got York to... Oh, for Pete's sake. This isn't going to script. God, well, I guess, you know, these, these things are... 
I mean, they're not scripted, so they're not going to go to script, are they? But uh, Ambrose, who's somehow still alive, has himself an overseer, pagan magician, minus do piety. He should have, like, heroic genius, frankly, for surviving. But uh, I guess most people did die, so there's not a lot of survivors to talk about. Fine. Um, London is ours. Woo. Ah, fine, 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 fine. Nottingham it is. Now... Can we finish this off with what we got there? Khan, maybe you need to go and turn yourself around and face the Pope, because that's what it was going to do after London, realistically. So Naples has itself a wooden castle. Probably for the best. Get yourself some mailed knights. Um, he still hasn't come in to attack us in Bologna. Honestly, even if we lose this army as a result, at least we gain some time. Milan will finally be... Yeah, defended. Venice is an island, of course, so it's completely safe. Um, in some ways, a good place to build troops. In some ways, a terrible place to build troops because I need a boat. Although a few boats have actually appeared in that part of the world. But there we go. Okay, we're one turn from the armorer, which means yet more retraining to be done over in Khan. But you know what? It's absolutely fine. Maybe we need to... I mean, to be fair, with the amount of... I mean, to be... <laughs> let's just run down. Go over to St. Ives. It's a nice place. Um, often wins the happiest and, you know, sunniest place in England. So, you know, strange that those two things are mixed, isn't it? All right, then. Captain Nige, good old Nigel, heading back there. You, my good sir, swing down to York. I suspect they've got to come in with five rams, haven't they? This could be good fun. I could have sallied, but no, 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 no. We're going to have more fun this way. And what do you want to spend our last bucket of money on? Hmm, can't do anything in Bologna, can't do anything here anyway. Guess we need to just burn some boats and then maybe we can have more fun next turn. Might be what it is. But we do have London, Thomas, so get ourselves a couple couple spearmen in London just to make sure it's held safe. But yeah, I think then we're going to have to use our Scottish troops to go and take all of that. I might just get a longbowman just to... Yeah, I want to send some bows across, actually. So we're going to send two of you. Two of you across. Yeah, just just, just go to London for now. A couple long bows in London. Ah, it's our port now. Beautiful. Dover is ours. Absolutely magnificent. And fine. Nottingham will deal with you eventually. And in come the Saxons. Unsurprisingly, they want York back. And to be honest, they are probably bringing stronger men than me. I have a bunch of Highlanders, of course few archers and some militiamen. The cavalry are going to have to do their usual shenanigans, I would think. And okay, actually, what the general's going to be pretty darn tough. It's peasants, damaged Danes. Well, they're quite a lot of siege equipment. They've actually they've actually learned the lessons of Carnarvon. So well done to that, lads. However, I think this is probably a good point to leave it here for today on this cliffhanger. Can we survive here in York? Can we get ourselves revenge on the Papal States? And of course, how are we going to fare? in this good old castle here in Nottingham. Hopefully, if we win this battle, this is going to look an awful lot easier, but do join me for that. I reckon we should be okay here, but uh, we'll have to see how much damage we take in the process. For now, I will leave you. I am Thomas, this is Tenerdus to Kimin, and this has been our Rebel Prologue campaign on Medieval 2 Total War. Thank you, and bye-bye. Swing yourself around and do what all good aristocracy do, and murder peasants! This is amazing, the rebel unit is actually taking part in the battle from the boat. These horses are potentially drowning themselves. Please don't drown your... one of them drown themselves. Down to... <laughs> Down to none.